Hey, what's going on? It's Marley here, and welcome back to Fate Hunters. Uh, in the last episode, we were brutally defeated, and um, I was a bit sad about it, to be honest with you. Kind of, but, you know, but it's been a few days. I've calmed down a little, realized that I really like the game, um, and enjoying the recording format. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the game too, you know? Um, if you are, you know, I know. Also, especially, actually, if you have any advice, slash, are way better than me, or not better than me, and just know more than me, any of these things. Uh, leave some comments, chuck some things at me. I appreciate the feedback, and I also really appreciate not being terrible. Um, can I play any of these other characters? I need more gold, don't I? Right. Well, maybe. Okay, maybe what we do here, right, is we go for a bit more of a. Maybe we go for a like a more stable run. We go for something a bit more basic, and we get some cash. What does hard mode do? Defeat the master to unlock this mode. Dude, we didn't get. We didn't do very well, did we? Nah, we didn't. All right. We know what we're doing this time, though, so, you know, that's something. Oh, God, there's, you need money to unlock cards and all this stuff. Oh, God. Um, so, can I, like, I can return these and take them, can't I? So, I can get rid of healing herbs, and can I? This is not very good. I think you're going to ditch healing herbs overall, to be honest. You get so many better healing cards quite quickly. I don't feel like you need it. I feel like it just pollutes the deck. But then, you know, does that really matter that things pollute the deck? Maybe you have, you have to, obviously, you have to have a full deck. So, I mean, what are you going to do? It's just the same as last time. We're going to do better this time. We're going to leave with some flipping money, actually, is what we're going to do. Um, and let's stop messing around. Let's start, like, clearing through enemies pretty quick. Because we, we know we can now, right? Take the treasure. Let's do our skill. Deal three damage. X times of random creatures where X is the amount of HP I've lost this turn. Deal two damage to a creature. Last web return to your hand. All cards from the discard pile which is card this turn. It's pretty interesting. Silence one normal spawn creature. Yeah, that's tight. Uh, I liked inner power last time. I think that played well. Hopefully we can play quite quickly because I feel like you you don't need to think. Mm, sometimes you don't need to think so much for this game. You can kind of autopilot through it, which I actually really like to be honest. A lot of the time feels really nice uh may as well because you know oh it's one use oh no oh my god i don't have torches dude i do have them all the time oh damn the torches it's not good it's not it's not good punch smock punch smock no no bad marlon Smack a heal, there's a treasure, blah, 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 loot bag, this is great, this is fine, sick, moving on. Uh, okay, ooh, looks like is this a mystery room there? Um, so I don't need to do this, right? Because we don't have any wound cards, and I'd like to save it for the wound cards. Getting the three daggers is nice, we'll see what this gives us. Let's just get the daggers. Uh, let's see how they hit. Brilliant. Whatever. We cleared. We level that up, boys. Um, freeze potion. One use. Stun all creatures. One use. Restore five HP. Oh, these are our trophies, not a level up. We want this. We want this. Yeah, for now, uh, early game, that's pretty strong. Wrath of God. Deal three damage to a creature. That's word. Deal three damage to all creatures and your hero. The amount of healing we get, that's actually not bad. Minimum two damage. Ooh. I'm going to go with the Wrath of God, you know. I'm going to go with it. I think we heal a lot, you know, and, and we can build around this. Always got to be going for the high loot in these early stages. Like, we just got to believe in ourselves, you know. Yeah, let's see what this loot bag gives us. Diamond. Beautiful. Not really, though. Not really, though. Oh. Also not what I was hoping for. Well, it's going to hit well. <sighs> we the best. We the best? We the best. <laughs> Modesty's a, a good skill to have, you know. Really is. Like, we will learn something from it. Oh, Torch's Butte. May as well pop that for health. Get out of the deck. It's not a bad time to use it. I don't feel too bad about that. Um... Smack him for three. Smack 
Oh, oh, we may as well use the potion there, right? Like, you're either going to use the heal or, yeah, it's pretty good. Hard room, yeah, boy. I'll take you on. I think we have a slightly better idea of, like, what cards work in the deck this time around. Deal two damage to a creature, draw a card. Deal two damage. Let's go with the draw. Uh, yeah, let's hope this works out for us. Okay. It's probably not worth the stun this turn. It's probably not worth it, right? Yeah, sorry, I thought I clicked in turn. I think sometimes the the buttons are disabled until you play to your cards. So I, I like press it slightly too early. Get rid of this guy. My power grows. Uh, see if crit does it. No, crit doesn't do it. Awesome. What do we get? Treasure. Potion draw. Not bad. Purifying flame. Silence a non-boss creature. Last word. Banish a non-boss creature. Interesting. Banish. We don't get XP, do we? Yeah. Banish a non-boss creature. You lose HP equal to the attack of that creature. I don't like this because, like... Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> Do you think of all non-boss creatures by one? Last word, restore three HP. I like that. That's pretty good. It's pretty consistent and quite strong, I'd say. Oh, and it's first boss time. Stone Sentinel. Whenever this creature takes damage, it gains a shield. That's not bad. Four health is quite a lot, though, so not overly pleased with that. Um... Reduces damage. Hit him. Nope. Okay. Actually, this is quite a tough first boss, you know, because he's always dealing three. That's like quite a lot. <laughs> uh, hmm. Yes, please. I'm gonna have to keep that because healing for three is no longer good enough, which is not great. This could be tough. Four? Nope. Alright. Two? Alright, we got the two at least. Uh, yeah, let's. We may as well use the stun here, and we're gonna heal for five, so. That's pretty good. We burnt three cards out of it. No, wait, that this doesn't leave the deck. Okay, well, that. that what's reserve mean? At the end of this turn, this card is not discarded. Oh, that's really cool. That's cool. Alright. Um. I think that makes that a much better card, actually, because otherwise without it, it's not it's not as... Yeah, it's definitely not as good. Um, but burning the potions is good there. They get them out of the deck, and they both got full use. For this fight, at least. So we'll do this. Hope for the crit. Do this. Get the draw. And then... Um, no, that doesn't work. Get rid of his shield. Okay. Do shields last uh, over a turn? I think it does. Yeah, they do last, don't they? Okay. Alright, we hit him. We get rid of a shield. We can play it. It's not going to do anything. I don't want to use this if we can avoid it. Uh, and then let's go big here. Oh, beautiful. Finally. Not quite as finally. Oh, but we drew. We drew well. That's good. Okay, trophies. Whew. Choose a card now to discard pile. You can choose any. Okay, so we can choose them all. Bang, 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 bang. One use. Upgrade all non-legendary weapon cards in your hand. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. Give me that. When do I want to get time to get that? Oh. oh, let's go, boys. What's this fortune teller got for us? So it's still... You get five... So, stash, treasure cards from your deck. Exile all treasure cards from your deck. You get gold for them as well as as if you had left the tower, but without the bonus. So, that's pretty cool. That's more interesting than I, I, I thought that was originally. So, like, you get rid of all your treasure that's sort of, you know, clogging up your deck a bit. So, that's, like, that one. And So, yeah, you get rid of this card. And then we get rid of the diamond, the treasure. And we get 50 gold. And then they're also all out of the deck. I think is really quite good. 
Uh, max HP is better than I actually originally thought, because 18 plus 2 is a pretty, it's a pretty big increase. Um, and it helps quite a lot in some of the later bosses. This isn't usually that good, I don't think. Double heroic skill cut, that's pretty good. I like the passive abilities, though they're not that strong. These might be better. It's really difficult. Whether well, the card or the passives play out more. Can you save fate points? Just think until the next time. Let's try that, actually. Take the legendary item. Deal three damage to a creature, draw a random card with critical from the draw pile. Bane of the Meek. Enchanted, which is when discarding this card on your turn, apply its effect. Okay. Does not work for you, yeah. And it's not discarded. Awesome. So you have to know, but yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Deal one damage to all creatures. Alright. Critical strike. Deal one damage to a creature six times. Add a wound card to your hand. So like up six to twelve damage, basically. This is the most consistent. I'm going to go with it, I think. And let's skip and see if we maintain those cards. And this can be like... Yeah, it doesn't tell us. Well, we'll find out next turn. Um, let's not... Let's keep our gold because we want to. Because we're strong. Strong men. Goblin boys. Um, one bang. It's gonna, it's gonna do it. Oh, I believed so hard as well. I believed so hard as well. Um, no, we'll, we won't use that yet. We can get the full off that. We can get the full effect of that. We'll kill him. Okay, that's fine. I like halberd. Halberd's nice. If we can get the upgrade on the halberd, that would be tight. Upgraded halberd is strong. Pops the heal. Do we? Do one of these? Do, does one of those give us wound cards? Then does this? Two curse cards. It's not wound cards. Okay, so maybe we do play the heal here. That's interesting. Um. So actually, do we? Do we do? This. This. This, and then this. That is what we do. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, so we play this to get rid of it. And then we'll play this to kill him. Oh, we, we level up. Okay. I'll take the treasure chest. And, ooh, these are cool. Um, meditate. Limited. Restore two HP. Draw two additional cards next turn. Okay. That's pretty good. Loot bags are okay. One use. Add a dagger, mace, throwing axe, longsword, heavy axe to your hand. Upgrade all non-legendary weapon cards in your hand. That's freaking awesome, dude. I'm in. I'm in. Definitely in with that. That's tight, dude. Yeah. Oh, what a... Actually, what a really good turn to draw it on. Um, yeah. Awesome. And we have 30 or more cards, so it's dealing 6. So I can just straight up kill this, or is there a more efficient way to do that? Is there a random? Yeah, we'll see what the random hit, shall we? Okay. Okay. All right. Two. Three, maybe six. So that's five. Uh, maybe eight. Nine. Okay, so we do kill this. And in fact, we actually just have extraordinarily large amounts of damage in our hand after that. 
which is the most powerful man. Uh, mystery room sounds pretty good. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind a blacksmith or a, or a fight. It's fine too, I guess. Whatever. It's not a bad last word to have here. One use treasure ten. Interesting. I'm not sure if I want to play that yet or not. We'll see here. Um, we might need to play that actually. Almost definitely. <laughs> Oh, you son of a... I'm dead. I'm a dead boy. <sighs> if I kill that, it's going to spawn more. And I can reduce the attack of them all. So, I guess we have to... This has to hit. It didn't hit. It didn't hit. What are you going to do? I'm doing a bad... That's not really worth it for the two, I don't think. I think there's a better draw of this to get, if we can afford it. Let's start with the heal, because we really need it. Ideally, we could... So three damage to all. Yeah, that's doable, but we do have to play that. So actually, you gotta do it. Sometimes, you just gotta do what you gotta do. You know, one use, skin five experience. How much experience we got? Okay. That's pretty good. It's like half a level. It's not bad. Three cards. Limited. Draw cards. Sorry, I don't want to go for a chip. Yeah, this is, this is pretty... Uh, it's a very strong card. You know, I keep thinking maybe it's not worth it, but the draw is usually going to outweigh, like... This, again, really good. Ooh. Six damage. Now, let's take a diamond, because we're going for money here. Okay? That's what we're going for. Well, I actually just fucked up, because I uh, can't play that full damage now. My bad. Do one of them. One of them. What? What happened to this? Where'd it go? You know what I mean? Where'd it go? I'm just doing bad plays here, boys. We're doing bad plays. Yeah, summon the users. See if I care. Oh, there's so many of them. I care so much. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not playing well. Not playing well today. Not playing what I would consider well. Got no pots. Whatever. Smack that kid. Smack that kid. Um, deal one damage for one health. I like this card. I think that's great if we hit some upgrades on it. In theory. Whoa, you a fast boy, huh? Yeah, you a fast boy. Get rid of that stuff out of my hand. Oh, I should have kept it though, to be honest, because like. Well, actually, wait, hang on. You draw five new cards. Yeah, so you draw five new cards, not five cards. So keeping that's better because now I could redraw it when I could have just kept keeping it to the bet. Um, all right, well, obviously the one is just bang this guy and then I'm going to play the curse. It's probably not a good idea because it means we die this, this turn now. But sometimes you just got to believe, you know. Look at that. I believed. And it worked. Easiest day of my life. I like a heavy axe. Oh, potion is beautiful. Give me that. Give me that heal, dude. Give it to me. Not the heal, dude. If this is a mimic, right? Might not play the game again. Woo! I'm gonna be real. I don't talk like that. I'm <laughs> gonna. Might just turn the game off. Pretty much how I feel right now. See how we roll. It's not good. There's no point in taking the three. We gotta get some good pulls off this. It's not terrible. That's not enough. That's not enough. I want that card in my deck, but oh, so unfortunate. It's such a good card. Like just just rolls up to seven damage hits. That's for, for like no penalty. Such a strong card, but like 
We can't. We have to go for the the lucky coin and see if it rolls. Oh, we might be in here. We might be in. Oh yeah. I think, I think we did good there. We we you know we kept in the game in a situation where we we didn't need to keep in the game there. You know. All right, let's think this through. We can play this last and get two HP back, which is worth burning the one HP from that definitely. So a hundred percent. We play this because it's a heal, technically. Now we don't know what this is gonna hit. It can hit this, do the five and take these out. This can hit this, which is inefficient. So we're definitely, definitely leading with this. We hope it hits the middle guy. That's unfortunate. But now we can just hope that this hits that guy. It's also unfortunate. We're alive, but I'm not happy about it. All right. I need everybody in the room right here. Everyone here. I need you all to know. I'm not happy about that. Not happy. Quite hurt, to be honest. Thanks for the level up. Woo. Fucking enthusiastic I am about that. Shh. Oh my word, dude. It's so cruel, this game. Do I start, do I draw three cards? In order to kill the creature, I do. Let's see. Let's do some experiments. Do we get experience off this creature? That's something I'd really like to know. I appear to have not gained any experience off the creature. Silence a non-boss creature. Last word: banish non-boss creature. No, no, because we don't need two of those. Deal eight damage to a creature, then decreases. Okay, that's not bad. That's a pretty good get out of jail free card. I'll take it. You know, it's summon. We got one health. We gotta take the mystery room. Oh, it's the mercenary. Whenever this creature takes damage, discard a card from your hand. We dead, boys. Unless, unless we not dead, boys. We dead, boys. Unless we not dead, boys. Oh, I get to choose. Oh, I read his. I read his description wrong. We get to choose where the greatest. Oh yes. Uh. No. But yes, but no. Now we'll take one. You know what? I'm good to little curse do. Just like famous last words if I've ever heard any. Um. All right, I'm gonna call this one here. Partly because I need to go to the toilet. Partly because I'm hungry, and also because it's hit 22 minutes, and that's about the right time for one of these videos. <laughs> I don't know what I based that on. There's no metric for that. But these runs are so different. Like it's, it's so spaced. You know. It's like it's not like a, a concrete run. It's not like a 50 minute run that I can like cut to two twenty fives or I do a one fifty. Who knows? I'm rambling. It's probably not very interesting. Thanks for watching the episode. Hopefully you're enjoying watching Fate Hunter so far. If you have any comments, feedback, or anything, or you just want to let me know how you like in the game, please chuck me a comment. Uh, I read them all. I respond to them. If I can think of anything that isn't like completely pointless to say, which is, you know, not that often. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. It. I'm enjoying this game so far. And if you'd like to recommend me any games as well, please do. You know, I'm just. I'm just open to feedback. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.